All right, so I'm here with the Marinda RE, and uh, I've been having some difficulties with this camera. Um, as I've read in other places online, if you over torque the exposure dial here, uh, it can actually um, pop the, the screw right off, I guess, so that it's just spinning. Uh, so I managed to actually figure out how to open this thing, uh, but I'm having trouble understanding how to get it back together and configured correctly. So basically uh, what I've done is turn the exposure dial all the way to uh, bulb, and then if I cock the shutter and release, I have to make sure it's far enough that it's actually on bulb. There. So I know it's on bulb at this point, and I can line up bulb as well. Uh, so basically, what I have here is uh, they have little, uh, what would you call that? It's like a gear essentially inside there. And there's two levels of gears. So there's a gear as well on the little uh, ASA or the um, ISO dial. And so at the bottom, of the gear actually goes inside here. There's a spring and stuff like that, but just to show you like that, so that when you lift it up, I'm guessing what happens is that there's two layers. You've got a gear that engages here. And that allows you to change your exposure, right? And then you've got another gear on top of here so that when you put them together, when you choose, basically what you do is you pull this up and it lifts the ISO dial high enough that it spins and then reclamps down when you put it in there. So there's, I guess it's essentially changing the number of, uh, or it's changing the exposure number to compensate for what your ISO is, I guess, is my basic, basic understanding of this. And so what I'm trying to figure out though is, so say I try to actually put this back together here. Um, there's a couple little flanges and things to put back in here. Uh, I know that you drop that in there. I know that you can only line up this piece with the particular shape that's in here. So it's always going to automatically fall to bulb. If I put it in there, it'll force me to put it on bulb. But I can't do that, obviously. I have to put the, um, IS, the ISO dial in there. The problem is I don't know where to set the ISO dial. So the ISO dial goes from uh, 25 to 1600 and so if I put it in the, the wrong space sometimes it'll impede the ability to turn the exposure dial properly but also I need to know that it's exactly matched to whatever it's supposed to be compensating the shutter speed to when you set it and I have no idea what that is so I can definitely set it in there and I can put the piece back in and, and close all this up and it will do all the right expo uh, all the right exposure speeds but I don't know if what I would compensate with a film for the ISO is correct so if there's anyone who can give me a tip as to how do I know how to line these two things up so I'm gonna come in close here if I can how do I know where to put the ISO dial within this before I clamp it back on there and shut it down. Is there any trick? Like, do I need to start on 25? Uh, do I need to start on 1600? Do I need to split the difference and go halfway? Um, there must be some kind of a trick to this. So if you have any thoughts, let me know. You can probably stop watching the video now, unless you're a little unclear on the mechanism, and I'll just go over that one more time. Uh, basically, I'll hold it up a little closer so you can see how this actually works. So there's two layers of gears inside there. 
So when you pull it up, there's a gear here. When you pull it up, you're disengaging the gears so that um, the these pull apart. I wish I could get a little closer. These actually pull apart. So that goes up and allows this to spin the um, to change the ISO, right? And then once you choose your ISO, you drop it down, and then the whole thing turns to change the exposure, except at a compensated level, I'm assuming. This is my really rudimentary guess, anyways, of how this works. So other than that, the camera works great. Um, and so it's really just that. And uh, if you have any thoughts, just uh, let me know. I'd appreciate it. Thanks.